Welcome back and greetings America. I just got done making a video uh, responding to some of the feedback I got from my last video uh, where I shared my thoughts on the current situation in Afghanistan in 20 minutes or less. And as promised, this video will be 20 minutes, preferably less. Uh, back in June, uh, I posted a video uh, specifically about uh, children and some individual thoughts I had on on the, the status of children in today's America. And I'm going to apologize in advance. If you are one of the two to three people that watch my videos looking for inflammatory political comment, it'll happen. Not 100% of the time, but it'll happen. Um, what I'd like to do is piggyback off of that video from June. Um, it only had like one view, and for all I know, that could have been mine. Uh, it was a pretty good video. I, I, I talked at length about, you know, my perception, my observation, my interpretation of the status of youth, you know, based on, as I say, my ability to observe absorb and interpret information and then make inf you know informed opinions about the subject and I was motivated to uh, do this again uh, based on a situation that happened now I won't dime out the specific location at the risk of being sued for slander and liable but a, a couple weeks ago um, every Friday our family ritual is we'll do a cheat meal so we'll eat wholesome meals at the house Monday, Thursday, Monday through Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, but then Friday's our cheat day where we'll go out. And I hate to say it, but typically our go-to is Subway. Subway's our go-to. You know, it's just it's Friday. Let's have something fun. Oftentimes it'll be anything from Panda to Domino's, whatever. It's it's our cheat day. So my wife has been slowly getting addicted to like doing things on the phone like you know I'll make my order on the phone blah 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 and there's a subway not too far from the house uh, if you know exactly where I live if you're in that circle of mine uh, it's not too hard to figure out which way it is um, yeah anyways uh, she went there and essentially paraphrasing it it looked like it was nothing but a handful of teenagers either still in high school or just graduated high school and this is based on her feedback nobody could figure out how to access her online order nobody could figure out how to deal with that first thing I find funny about that is this younger generation is way way more familiar with technology than my wife and I should be all right, we were not born with a cell phone in our thumbs. Okay, you're talking about a general. No, you're not getting on this video. You're talking about a whole generation of people who born after the millennium, who probably have no idea what life was like without the internet. Now that's not me picking on them. That's not me being overly critical. It's just me making an an observed statement. Uh, the internet came out mid to late 90s, wasn't mainstream until maybe late 90s, early 2000s, and it's just done nothing but progress since then. All right, I mean, could you try to imagine people surviving without Wi-Fi or high-speed internet going back to dial-up? Anyways, back on topic. Apparently, these, these employees were extremely rude. Like, zero concept of customer service. Like, zero desire or willingness to want to assist my wife in overcoming this dilemma. Like, look, we, we trust that you placed an order, and we trust that you paid for this order with your hard-earned money. We just don't know how to access the information. If, if you could be patient, we'll try and figure it out. But there was none of that. None of that whatsoever. You know, the... The whole, the whole concept of working in the service industry. Don't give me this shit about $15 or whatever you want to get paid. The bottom line is, if you're working a, a minimum style wage job, it's for minimum labor, 
which means you don't have to have a degree, you don't have to have a certification, you don't even have to have a license. All right, you get hired, somebody teaches you how to do the job, and you now have a bare minimum skill set, and you're getting paid a bare minimum wage. All right, that's the way the commerce system works, as my voice cracks on me. And, of course, my mind is like dominoes, all right? That's an idea, and it just pushes down a bunch of dominoes. And I just can't help but to start think about, okay, so these are probably kids who were born after the change of the millennium, you know, regardless of who their parents are, regardless of how their parents raised them, there's a better than average chance their parents raised them commensurate with the style of post-millennium childbearing, uh, which seems to have this general theme where, and I, I talk about it in my, pre, in my video from June, where there's this concept of wanting to be friends with the kids and wanting our wanting so desperately that our kids know that we love them and we want them to love us back. So what do we got to do to maintain that? You know, versus admonishing them when they screw up. You know, uh, versing, versus uh, giving them consequences. You know, like in our house, you know, we try to reward our kids when they get good grades. My daughter just likes books. Who's, who in their right mind is going to deny their kids books? My son likes video games. And neither one of them seem to be overly thrilled with clothes. My daughter likes clothes, but she's not like one of those, oh my God, I gotta have this new outfit. You know, she's, thankfully, she's not like that. And my son's not one of those where he's gotta have like the, the newest pair of shoes, at least not like that. He's not in high school yet, so I don't know if there's gonna be that weird, awkward change from like sophomore to junior or whatever. But that's what we're dealing with right now. Um, so. You know, that's how we reward, but we also provide consequence. Uh, fortunately for us, and I'll be completely honest, my daughter, minus her attitude sometimes, it doesn't really provoke a lot of consequence. The funny thing is, between the three kids we had, my daughter suffered the most consequences, whether it's because she was the firstborn or because she was the only one to do anything to get herself into trouble. Um, my other son, Logan, God rest his soul, um... He, he did get admonished from time to time when he when we were fortunate enough to have him home if he was a little shit. Um, but it didn't happen that much. My youngest son, Dean, just something about him, something the way he, he was as an individual, he never really put himself in a position to be admonished for anything. That's not to say he wasn't admonished when he did shit, but I don't know, it just didn't happen as frequently. So getting back to the, the, the lecture at hand, if you will, little Snoop Dogg reference, um, it just got me thinking, you know, and I can't help but notice this in so many different settings. Um, just I, I watch the way people of a certain age conduct themselves, how they drive, how inconsiderate or selfishly they are behind the wheel. And you got to understand, you're behind the wheel of a four-wheel drive object, not four wheels as is in... <clears throat> off-road, but like, you know, in excess of 20 plus miles an hour surrounded by steel and whatnot where you could do damage, okay? You, you may want to drive with intent and purpose, not, you know, gleeful stupidity or selfish stupidity. I, I watch the way people conduct themselves when they're outside their vehicle, uh, and I, I've noticed this tremendous sense of entitlement, like this, you know, I don't, I don't get it. It's just it's weird and when my wife came back and she was telling me how utterly rude and incooperative and just like straight up I don't give a fuck I can't find your order it's not part of what I was trained to do I was trained to hey welcome to subway can I make your sandwich I go get the bread I got the stuff but now you're trying to bring this online bullshit and just I mean my wife was livid and all I could think of is these kids working at that subway, you know, regardless of their age bracket, give or, you know, plus or minus five years, right? Keep it within a certain decade. Are these kids indicative of their generation? Is that what their generation has to look forward to? I mean, I have a cousin who's 21 and he's in the Marine Corps. And he's done his first deployment, so now he's a one-pump chump. 
which by Marine Corps terminology typically makes him a senior Lance Corporal. And I can't help but wonder if he and his, his buddies have that similar mentality. Because I know as I was retiring, I mean, I retired before my cousin even joined the service. As I was retiring, I was less and less impressed with some of the, the younger Marines joining the service. Um, you know, I'll just, I'll leave it at that. Uh, if somebody wants to comment or leave a question, I can expand on that in a different video. I don't want to make these too long form. But it just, the, the, the bottom line is it makes me wonder, you know, whether we meant to do something right and we meant to do something good, but by pure accident, we ended up doing something bad. And now we have a generation of self-entitled little shits who have zero work ethic, zero appreciation for just modern human decencies like yes sir yes ma'am thank you sir thank you ma'am you know the, the 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 bare basics of customer service and then you know because some I'm not trying to get political but some fucktard politician is trying to promise 15 15 dollar wages because you exist you know congratulations you you breathe air and reproduce carbon dioxide therefore you know you're entitled, you, you know, all because you exist. And I was like, you know what? I hate to say it, but there's a lot of human beings out there who would be more would be more uh, worthy by becoming compost, and they could be easily replaced by plants because at least plants will exchange carbon dioxide for oxygen. All right, I do believe it's carbon dioxide. If I'm wrong, somebody please correct me. Have fun with it. But you get the point. We exhale, the plant inhales. When it exhales, it produces oxygen. All right? And that whole concept of photosynthesis. Therefore, there are people who, have, through their own actions, have made themselves worth less than a house plant. I'm not trying to be controversial for the sake of being controversial. I'm just saying, you know, if you've lived some life and you've experienced some life, if you stop for a minute and you think about some of the people you've come across, you know, you'll realize I'm telling the truth. Um, and, you know, oddly enough, um, I, I can't make this up. I don't know what it is, why, if, if it's a theme, if it's a, a whatever it is. In the last so many weeks, uh, my wife and I, you know, as you flip through the channels or whatnot, there's been this concept of, like, M end of the world movies. Uh, 2012, uh, World War Z, or uh, you name it. You name it, and or even short-lived versions. Uh, we just got done watching Wayward Pines, which was phenomenal, and they need to bring it back. But there's there's one consistent theme um, that tends to come up, and that's the concept of making tough choices and the people who disagree with tough choices, the the concept of people who buy their way into choices. Like in 2012, when they built the arcs and whatnot, and they knew the Earth was going to fuck itself up, and it was like, oh, there's this randomly generated, you know, blah, 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 and then obviously there's the people who had money. Um, it's the fucking real world. What do you expect? Uh, wayward Pines, you know, it's like way in the future, and it's like some crazy apocalyptic world, and, you know, once again, they uh, due to circumstances beyond their control, uh, they decide to go back into hibernation, and they can't take everybody, so it's like... A tough decision's got to be made, and I, it 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 just blows my mind because it's like, you know, I'm I'm just sitting there thinking like, I may sound like an asshole to some people, but you know, God forbid that's the point we get to. Like, you know, if we get to a point where we're limited on natural resources and blah blah blah, and we got to start making hard decisions, like, well, who's proven themselves to be a productive member of society? Who's proven themselves to be worth more than a house plant? Because I'll tell you, based on my wife's emotional disposition, the young individuals working at that subway, in her opinion, had proven that they were worth less than a house plant. And I just can't help but wonder, you know, in various, you know, in various forms, how many of us have had those experiences? People who whether they were raised right or raised wrong or whatever the case may be, have not fully taken advantage 
of the gift of life and furthermore have not fully taken advantage of the opportunity to grow up in America where you have the opportunity to succeed. You have the opportunity. Don't sell me on this institutionalization and whatnot. I don't know what the nationalities were. I don't know what the ethnicities were, but they had every opportunity to conduct themselves and comport themselves appropriately when dealing with my wife, and they chose not to. All right, for whatever reasons, whether it was an ethnic thing, whatever, whatever their whatever their reasoning was behind it, they made an active choice to act unaccordingly. And then just recently, we were at another subway Saturday. We used to frequent that subway often. We were there. We were talking to a lady behind the counter. She goes, don't tell me. It's this subway at this location. Yeah, how'd you guess? We get, we get complaints all the time about how rude and inconsiderate and unprofessional the teenage employees are. Here's the number you need to call because it's an individually owned, owned franchise and the subway company can revoke somebody's franchise charter if they're not doing things. And it's like, well, damn. Maybe there should be some significant consequences for acting like an asshat. But that's just one small example. Um, I'm very curious if any of you have noticed something similar. If you've noticed that within certain age brackets, there's a tremendous gap in proper conduct, proper mentality, work ethic, you name it. Um, And you know the deal. Uh, If you know me locally, you know, uh, let me know, local, you know, hey, hey, saw that video, blah, 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 here's my thoughts and opinions. You know I'm not going to post your name unless you tell me it's okay. Uh, you could also leave a comment underneath this video. Uh, I'm going to put it on Instagram. If you want, you can comment there. I'm going to put it on Facebook. If you want, you can comment there. But you know, let, let's let's have these discussions. Let's have them. Uh, if you need more context, go watch the video from uh, June. I'm, with, I'm in a gray tank top, um, and I'm wearing my little headset. So that's all I got for today. You know the deal. Like, dislike, don't care, subscribe, don't care. All I care about is that we start communicating. Till next time.